When they ask you what's good with you and me I say we dealing though <laughs> I'm dealing with you Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can recreate these beautiful holiday curls just using some flexi rods. So I'm starting off on freshly washed hair and I went ahead and sectioned my hair into four separate sections. You're going to need three products today, a foaming mousse styler as well as a leave-in and an oil of your choice. Now I'm just going to cocktail my oil and my leave-in to begin moisturizing my hair. That way I don't have that nasty, really, really strong hold or cast on my hair after I apply my foaming mousse styler. So I'm just thoroughly distributing this little cocktail to all four sections. I just want to make sure that my hair is really, really nice and moisturized. Okay, so now that that's done, we can go ahead and move on to step number two, which is to apply your foaming mousse styler. I just went ahead and parted off a little... 4x4 four four section and I'm going to go ahead and detangle this. You want to make sure that your hair is really really nice and detangled before you begin flexi rotting. I personally like to lock my roots before I apply the flexi rod to my hair and this can easily be achieved by just twisting your hair in the direction in which you will be wrapping your hair around the flexi rod. This will ensure that you'll have nice sleek roots that will match the ends of your hair which will have that nice flexi rotted texture. Pretty much you're avoiding the puffy root effect that many of us get when we don't lock our roots. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue wrapping my hair around the flexi rod. And where my hair ends is where I'm going to go ahead and bend the flexi rod to hold that into place. That way it doesn't unravel. I'm just going to continue this step around my entire head, locking all of my hair in these flexi rods. Now that the hard part is over, it's time to dry our hair. I'm going to go ahead and grab my bonnet blow dryer to dry my hair to speed up the process. Now just to give you guys a gist of how long it took, I sat under the dryer for about two hours exact and my hair still wasn't dry. So imagine if I were to go ahead and sleep on this, it probably would take forever to dry. But if you have thinner hair, you can sleep on these rods or like I said, just go ahead and grab your bonnet blow dryer and sit under the dryer until it's done and complete. So after my hair has been dried thoroughly, I'll go ahead and take down my flexi rods. And I'm going to do this very, very carefully. That way I don't disturb the curl pattern or create any unwanted frizz. I'm just going to grab my oil of choice to go ahead and separate my curls without creating any type of extra frizz that I don't need. Now the very last and final step, you're going to cater to your own desires. I like to have really, really big fluffy curls. So I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair into three different strands. Each and every curl, I'm going to separate them into three large strands. If you want bigger hair, you might want to stretch or separate the curls even further. But I like it like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one.